In Canada, they have a show called Embarrassing Bodies. Over here, it's called Loose Women. <laughs> In Canada, they have a program called Pointless. Over here, it's called The One Show. <laughs> In Canada, they have a show called The Walking Dead. Over here, it's Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> Canada, they have a show called A Fresh Pile of Steaming Horseshit. Over here, it's called Mrs. Brown's Boys. <laughs> My brother, who's terrified of revolving doors, is always in and out of hospital. My other brother, he's impotent. He's a graffiti artist that you may have heard of, uh, Blanksy. <laughs> Don't worry, he's not here. He couldn't come. <laughs> couldn't come. I said, are you gonna come? He said, I can't come. I said, try coming. He said, Don't rub it in. Ironically, uh, he's the only person to ever catch me masturbating. But you know what? He wasn't jealous. He wasn't angry. He took it on the chin. <laughs> now, I know for some of you, masturbation is a touchy subject. So. I learned that in a documentary about masturbation, which was gripping. It is a pretty frightening subject. I remember I was 14 years old when someone told me, if you masturbate too much, you'll go blind, which absolutely terrified me because I used to, uh, <laughs> I used to, uh, I used to, uh, <laughs> My wife has a lazy eye, which is neither here nor there. <laughs> Usually there, which always makes lovemaking distracting. <laughs> I'll be making love to my wife. The hell do you keep staring at? In an effort to save our marriage, my wife and I have taken up square dancing and have turned a corner. <laughs> Yeehaw! Now, we stay, we stay together for the kids. Uh, we have a goat farm. <laughs> Only kidding. That's the name of the farm. I kid you not. That's what the farm was called by the previous owner. Ah, oh, who's kidding who? That's what it was called before he bought the farm. Rest in peace. I don't have any jokes about children that I know of. <laughs> I'm still working on that one. I'm not ashamed of my children. You be the judge. Today I took my daughter and signed her up to Ugly Club. A Glee Club? I'd like to redo that one. Uh, today, at a Glee Club, I signed up my ugly daughter. <laughs> Now, I am Canadian, but if people think I'm Russian, Soviet. <laughs> if there's a person on this planet that doesn't enjoy a good old Russian pun, I have yet to meet them. <laughs> the two things Canadians love most are not being American and maple syrup. We absolutely love not being American. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, here's an interesting statistic. Here's an interesting. Here's an interesting. Here's a fun fact. <laughs> Did you know that only 21% of Americans have gone to university and shot someone? <laughs> now you've probably seen Canadians before, either roaming in the fields or drinking by the water's edge. Now it's wildebeest. <laughs> I always get those two mixed up. 
You've probably seen Canadians before, either in films or on television shows, and assume that they were American. That happens all the time. Perfect example, William Shatner, who played Captain Kirk on the old Star Trek television show. He is Canadian, born about a 20-minute drive from Montreal. Give yourself a half hour with the traffic. <laughs> also on that very same show, uh, Star Trek, James Doonan, the actor who played Scotty. He, too, is Canadian, born about a 40-minute drive from Vancouver. Give yourself an hour with the traffic. <laughs> that messes people up. Well, hang on. He's called Scotty. He had a Scottish accent. But that's what I explain to people, that actors and actresses that are very skilled can put on different accents to make it sound like they're from a different part of the world. And that's what James Doonan has done to, to let us all think he was Scottish. Another great actor doing it is Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> Gee willikers. Jumping Jehoshaphat. I assumed he was from East London. He could be American for all I know. But probably the best actor ever at putting on different accents for different film parts was Sean Connery. <laughs> so talented. Remember him in Highlander? What character was he? The Spaniard. <laughs> I am the Spaniard. It's me, Sean Connery! Hey, everyone! I'm just pretending to be Spanish. Hope you're enjoying the film. <laughs> Remember him in Hunt for Red October? This is a proud day for Mother Russia. <laughs> it's me, Sean Clary! <laughs> hey, everyone! I'm just pretending to be Russian. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the film. But he fooled you and I into thinking he was a Russian captain on a Russian submarine, which was rushing through the sea. Uh, adorable. But could he have fooled a Russian crew? This is a proud day for Mother Russia. Russian crew's like, Hi, Captain. The crew and I were just talking, you know, just shooting the breeze, you know. And we were wondering exactly what part of Russia do you come from? Well, that's a great question, Vladimir. <laughs> that, sir, is a top-notch question. <laughs> Let's just say I come from a small section of South Moscow that's known as Little Scotland. <laughs> now, piss off back to your stations. I, uh, I've got a submarine to drive. <laughs> or float. Or sink. Whatever you're supposed to do with a submarine. I haven't, I haven't picked up all the submarine jargon spent the better part of the last six years perfecting this Russian accent. <laughs> Remember Sean Connery and the Untouchables? So you want to get Capone, here's what you do. He pulls a knife, you pull a gun. He sends one of yours to the hospital, you send one of his to the morgue. It's the Chicago way. <laughs> Not from Chicago! Hey, hey! It's me, Sean Connery! <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the film. <laughs> 